Hi everyone, it's Nat here. Today I'd like to show you a signature that I've made for a group swap. Um, it's autumn themed and for it I've used lots of pictures out of this Animal World the Squirrel book. I've showed this in a previous video because I used it the other day to make some artist trading cards or ATCs. Um, and I've just been amazed because it's a tiny little book it was that was falling to bits so it couldn't be sold. But it's got the best pictures in it so um, it's amazing how many uses I've gotten out of it and I've still got heaps of pictures that I can use to make other tags and cards and envelopes and such. So first I want to show you what I made the other day. So I've made this card. And these two, which I really love. I think that's a dog hair stuck to it. Now the wood on the bottom of these was actually trees in the book that I've had scraps of, so I've just cut them up. And I think they've turned out really well. And all the bits here are all different bits from different parts of the book that have been put together. Like the little acorn um, came from a different page, but it fit perfectly under his little hand there. I made this one with these bits out of the book and I got this from another book but they go together really nice as well. I've also made some altered envelopes. And this one. So you can see there's so many uses just for that one book um, with all the pictures and it saves wasting them having them all go in the bin. And I think I got the mushroom somewhere else. Okay, now this is the signature that I made. We had to do a signature that was autumn themed. It had to be made with two folded A4 pieces of paper, which equaled eight pages. So now um, these leaves here, these two orange ones, I used this page out of an old book and just inked it up a bit so it wasn't so bright and stamped on it with my distress inks, um, with my leaf stamps and just fussy cut those out. And that's what I've used up here and also to make this. Now I'll probably do a tutorial on these one day but I got the idea off of Pinterest. Uh, there's been a few people that have made this sort of thing and basically it's just your uh, punched or die cuts um, and you lie them down and you stick with double sided tape. You stick some wire between them and then you put another leaf on top and then you just fold them over and twist the wire and it makes a little loop up here and that way you can dangle something from it if you want and it sort of acts like a bit of a paper clip type thing so I thought that would be nice on the journal and the title came from a magazine and I just backed it onto some cardstock and inked it up a bit so it didn't look so glossy um, this picture is also from a magazine which I've backed onto some card paper, um, some scrap paper, uh, just to make it a bit more firm. And I've added some ribbon down here and made this tag. Uh, the tag's got a poem about the end of summer and the start of autumn. And it's just got a bit of fabric and cardstock on it uh, with these leaves that I've cut out and some more of the ribbon so it matches a bit. And some tea dyed paper for a journaling spot. Now on this page, um, this is one of my tag pockets that I got the idea from Gail Agostinelli um, when she did a, compiled a whole lot of different pockets into the one video. Uh, she got the ideas off of heaps of different people and herself um, and made all these pockets. So I had a whole lot of those sitting around and it's worked really well because I just stuck this picture of the deer on and then I fussy cut this fern and put it there so it looks like the deer are coming out of the fern. Um, over here there's a poem about the autumn and at the end it says um, if you see bits of broken hazelnut shell on the ground in the wood look around for squirrels. You may not see them but they are sure to be there. So to go with that uh, when you take this tag out there's the hidden squirrel. So I thought that was a great idea and it almost looks like he's sitting on this same stump whereas they're completely different pictures from different pages of the book. Um, I've backed this one with your tea dyed paper so it can be written on 
Um, my daughter has just got herself a Cricut, so she's been having fun with that and cutting some shapes for me, and she had cut me out these leaf shapes, and I thought that'd be perfect. So um, with this one, I've just inked it up and drawn some little lines on it so it looks like a leaf, and I've reinforced this so it doesn't bend when you pull it out and added the tea dyed paper so it can be journaled on. And on this page you've got your little rabbits and a little mushroom which is sitting on this um, green mesh. It's um, packaging like wrapping mesh. Um, I don't know why you'd want to wrap a prezi in it but I thought it might be quite handy for this sort of thing. So, And in here there's another one of my daughter's um, die cuts and I've just inked that a bit as well and I've made a little book just stuck the pages in with a bit of washi tape so it gives a lot more journaling space there now with this one it's all about the possums or the squirrels hiding their nuts and that so there's an acorn hidden here and when you pull that out, that's a little journaling spot as well with tea dyed paper. It's a bit fiddly that one. It slips in there. And then I've, <coughs> this uh, squirrel is digging for something in the leaves. So when you pull out this tag, there's a little acorn that he's digging for. Just fix that up. It's got a little mushroom on it. I'll just sit that in there. And then this is like um, just a paper bag or a glassine bag or whatever. Um, cut a little butterfly out there and it says no time to see when woods we passed where squirrels hide their nuts in the grass. And in there I've made this little journaling card with some mushrooms and nuts. And that's backed as well as a journaling spot. Now this page is about uh, harvest time so it's got a poem about harvest time there and some sweet corn, a little pad piece that has little kitchen utensils which I thought was fitting for harvest time. And then there's a scythe and your millet and your pumpkin. The pumpkin came out of a gardening book um, and the millet and that and the corn came out of another book and then yeah I just put some hessian down the bottom and this is just material down here. And then on the back page it's about the uh, late autumn and the start of winter so I've put a little poem uh, about that there and just put some ribbon on the edges and I've made this little embellishment with a tree that's lost all its leaves um, which is backed onto some chill and underneath there's a little bit of calico and that's just put on some card um, yeah, just some card stock that's been inked black around the edges and then I made this little tag with some autumn leaves and on the back I just put my details so that the person that gets it knows who made it uh, because we're hoping to send signatures each month to different people and then at the end of the month, uh, at the end of the year we can put them all together and make a journal full of everyone's signatures which will be really cool so I'm loving that idea. So that's the first signature I've made to go to someone else, so it's going to be good fun. Um, thank you everyone for watching and have an excellent day. See you later.